Hi friends, welcome back. I hope everyone was well while I was gone. Um, I've had a few personal issues in the past few weeks, um, so that's why it's been a while since I've uploaded. But everything's better now and I'm really hoping to get back into a groove of uploading. And yeah, I really look forward to finishing Nectar and just keep on working on it. And I also <laughs> already have a new theme in mind for next island. So I'm just really excited to yeah, record videos. So let's get into this one. So today we are decorating the area around resident services. And it's a pretty big area that we have here as I'm showing you. And I don't have any like proper plans yet. I just know that I'm gonna want to have some kind of terraformed area like I did in my house area and yeah, maybe makes a cute lookout or something. So I'm really excited. So first of all, I want to let you know that I have once again changed the flowers on this island. I think that's gonna happen uh, a few more times, but I've gone with the red, pink, orange and yellow tulips and white hyacinths. And I think it's a really, really pretty combination. And my main focus was that they match this orange, pink and yellow of my jam design, <laughs> because these are the colors I want for this island. And before I changed it to like a more soft pink and orange. Um, yeah, but I think I want something more vibrant. So first of all, let's change into something more appropriate um, because I like to do that before every build. And I chose this really cute t-shirt and shorts combination. It just looks really summery and I love this flower pattern. So let's get into terraforming. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of it. So basically, I knew that I wanted to have a lookout in front of resident services. So I had to fill this whole area and I didn't know what I wanted to do to the left of resident services. I've had this idea of putting a parking lot next to it. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying that, but I'm not quite sure if I want to leave it there. So yeah, for now I'm just planning where the incline that leads to resident services can go and seeing how everything lines up. So I think this is where I want to put my incline. It's going to be a natural incline and yeah, it leads you right to the center of resident services. So let's get back to more terraforming. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> And I also need to remove this river because it's kind of in the way. So yeah, waterscaping it is <laughs> my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> um, yeah, no, this straight edge is fine to do, but usually terraforming for me is such a hassle. I don't know why it's so hard to get the right angles and stuff, but yeah, let's just do this. So finishing up this waterscaping, let's take a look at the map and see where we're currently standing. So we have this big rectangular shape and we still need to round it out, but I think it's looking pretty good so far. So moving on to the left of resident services, this is an area that's like a bit more up left. Um, I wanted to create this kind of land bridge to just, you know, have some kind of interest and also the shape of the cliff. You can see in the back here, it looks so pretty, so I wanted to keep that. So yeah, I'm creating this little land bridge and seeing what I can do with it. And I think it turned out pretty cute. So right now I'm trying to figure out where I can put trees, because I do want this area to look very natural and overgrown and luscious. So yeah, those trees need to have some spaces. So after placing trees, my chaotic brain decided to now place the ramp and I went with a white plank ramp and not the natural ramp. I don't know why I thought I was using the natural one, excuse me. <laughs> so we're using the white one and I think it's pretty cute. So I was doing some more tree placing just around the edges of the cliff and also where we picked out the spots 
near resident services to see how everything was looking. Just doing some finishing touches and I think it's looking good for now. So I think it's time to time travel and see how the incline is looking. And this is how it's looking. I think it looks really cute and I also really like how the white plank ramp looks in this lighting. So yeah, let's continue with the rest of this area, which is, yeah, the biggest part of it. <laughs> So once again, let's get into some terraforming because the area wasn't quite big enough for me. I wanted it to have like a really good lookout, so I needed some more space. So that's why I'm what I'm doing. Okay, so now that the cliff in front of resident services is kind of figured out, I wanted to start on working on this terraformed area that I wanted to have in between resident services and my house. Like I wanted you to feel kind of like a valley where you're walking through. Um, yeah, so I'm creating this kind of cliff where I want to put on a house like I did with Cookie's house. And yeah, seeing what shape works and where we are putting everything. So I think this shape kind of works and this is where I want to put the house, I think. And yeah, it's pretty cute and rounded and we're probably going to change it a bit more, but this is roughly how it's looking. And also I wanted to check how the flow was working um, because I do want you to get around here pretty nicely. Um, so I was working on putting a path down and I kind of wanted to give you an insight of how I place paths because this was kind of hard and I... Yeah, I went a lot of back and forth, kind of like I did in my house build. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to keep it real and show you how I'm using the path. So there you go. So technically the path was finished here, but I, I didn't really like the shape. It wasn't like squiggly enough for me. I wanted it to be really winding and yeah, natural. And it wasn't giving that for me, so <laughs> I needed to rework it. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty nice in the end. And when I was happy with how the path looked, I was placing some trees and flowers just to line it and see if I like the shape and if I had to change something. So yeah, let's place some of the cute tulips that I picked out. I really like this color combination. And yeah, um, as expected, I needed to change the path a bit more, but I think this looks way, way better after I change it. It's just way more winding and looks really cute. So now let's pick a place where we can put an incline up to this um, to this cliff because I do want to get up there pretty nicely and now I'm picking the natural ramp <laughs> I think that's why I got confused So yeah, let's change up a bit more the shape so it works nicer and then we can place the incline So then I was placing down some more trees just to see how it looked when I placed the house because I did want it to feel pretty natural and stuff so yeah this is the spot that I went with and also this is Hamlet's house. <laughs> so placing some more trees around the area just to like kind of round it out and make it ready for time travel and this is how it ended up looking. I think it looks really really cute and I really like the flow of this and yeah, how the trees align and it's just really pretty. So this is what it's looking like when you're walking down here. And even though there are kind of the trees in the way, I think it still works because the path is so winding. 
So let's continue working on the area in front of resident services. I've kind of been dreading this. It's because it's such a big area. Um, and apparently we're making it even bigger. <laughs> because, yeah, this took a lot of, like, back and forth and some more terraforming and reshaping. But I guess that's how Animal Crossing works, so... Yeah. <laughs> So I was also looking at the map often to see how the shape looks on the map because you know the map is pretty important to me on this island. So I needed to change this shape a bit more because it was just super straight and that's not the vibe I was going for. So I was making it a bit more rounded and you know squiggly. Oh and also I wanted to connect this river to this cliff because I did want to have like a fishing spot because on this island it's pretty important to me to have working fishing spots in all kinds of you know shapes because in different rivers spawn different fish and because i want to finish the museum it's really important to me to have all different kind of kinds of fish so yeah i'm creating a second tier um pond i think or are the ponds even different no it's a river it's a river it's kind of confusing how this works but i think it's a river and yeah i can catch like cherry salmons and fish like that on in here so yeah <laughs> so once i had a shape that i liked i wanted to put down some greenery some trees and flowers and I wanted to put this line of flowers in front of resident services because I think it looks really pretty and like manicured and that's kind of the vibe that I wanted to go for here. Um, yeah, so I'm putting these planter boxes in front and I think it just looks really pretty. Then I was trying to line it with some fencing, which I didn't end up liking in the end. So these go later, but yeah, I'm just trying out <laughs> some different things and apparently time traveling um probably to get to a different time or oh no to get the bushes grown because i did need some bushes and i'm just making it more natural um because this is a fishing spot so yeah it needs some nature around it and i'm just figuring out where to put trees where to put bushes flowers and what kind of works in front of resident services then we are placing down Sky's house because I think this plot of land is really really cute. I can do something with the beach and it's just really nicely tucked in. And then continuing with decorating this area, I was kind of struggling what to put in front of the fence. But yeah, I'm figure figuring it out in the end. So moving on, I'm kind of building a honey stand and I'm trying out a few different things with the saw. and the storefront that's what it's called and yeah just seeing what works and what kind of angles i have to place things in <laughs> it's kind of hard but i figure it out in the end and i think it turned out pretty cute i'm just trying to figure out what kind of shape to use if the wood partition works there and what kind of items i want to use so yeah it's just all work in progress and Trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. So of course the bees need flowers to produce the honey. So I'm placing some more tulips here and making it more natural so they can, you know, pollinate the flowers. So I'm just continuing to put down little items like the shopping baskets and the bee model, of course, it needs to be there. <laughs> so once I was happy with kind of how the honey stand looks, I was working on the area around it and the fishing spot and just the path in general. And of course the angled signpost needs to go there. <laughs> so it's a little bit later now in the day and I'm trying to figure out what kind of items to use for the stand because I didn't really like the storefront. It kind of looks empty from the side. So I was 
trying out a few different items and see how they looked and the white dis display stand was too tall. So I was trying out a few different things and seeing what kind of works and what doesn't. As always, <laughs> it's all a work in progress. Um, yeah, trying out the pergola, which is so, so huge um, and it didn't really look that nice. Um, so yeah, that's not what we're going for. Um, yeah, just figuring out what kind of works. And in the end, I went with some kind of boxes behind the stall to indicate that there's some storage in there. And I think that looks pretty cute. I then also decided to change up the customization on the stall because it looked kind of too girly and too pink for my taste for this area. So I went with this kind of neutral beige design. So then I time traveled just to see how it looks in better lighting and I think it turned out really cute. So let's continue to line this area with trees and put on a path so we can actually reach this area. And I kind of wanted to make this path really squiggly and just one line because in the end I wanted to put a garden wagon and it was supposed to look like the garden wagon was pushed there and that's how the path got to be there and also putting down a well because a well always works <laughs> then I was trying to put down some planks underneath the plain party lights arch um, and I once again went a lot of back and forth because I didn't really like how it looked it wasn't really centered and was too big and yeah, so I decided to just put one plank. Then I was really inspired by Stardew Valley to make this kind of plank circle. It looks so, so cute. And putting down some more plain party lights because duh. <laughs> and yeah, making this fishing spot more accessible and putting a plank there. So as to indicate that there's actually a fishing spot where you can stand and finishing up this path, as I mentioned earlier. And I think it looks really, really cute and realistic. I also found this really nice custom design with this fishing spot. And I think it looks really pretty. And then just changing the flowers in this area to make it more cohesive. And I'm also obviously going to change the flowers in the other areas. Then I'm kind of moving on to this kind of path area and giving it finishing touches and putting down some more items so it looks way more lived in and figuring out which flowers need to go where. <laughs> Putting down some fencing and cute little items. Yeah, and I think it turned out really cute. I also don't know yet what I want to do with the area up here, but I just know that I want to have path connecting to something back there. So, yeah. And this is how everything turned out. I think it's really cute and it really matches my theme with all the cute colors and the honey stand and just making it really cute and lived in the natural and also with the fishing spot and stuff. I think it's really pretty. So yeah. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more like this and leave a comment if you have any suggestions for my next video. So I'll see you then. Bye!